Ruger Navy SEAL Foundation and Naval Special Warfare Limited Edition Pistols. I've been told that since there's only 500 of these that um, they shouldn't be shot. They're made to look at, they're made to keep in the safe and only take out to show off on nice occasions. Well, Rider's Range doesn't work that way. We fired them, we're going to bring you the first shots. These guns will also be featured in upcoming videos. I will mention that this is not a comprehensive review. There's going to be more detail on these uh, guns as they come up in our uh, comparison series. This video is just to introduce you to two guns that support the Navy SEAL Foundation. And before we go too much farther, I want to thank Ann Arbor Arms for their support of Riders Range. Ann Arbor Arms is a five-star range and training facility with a retail store and online presence. They can be found at AnnArborArms.com. So, Navy SEAL Foundation 45 full-size steel frame Ruger. 500 of these were made. Navy Special Warfare 9mm commander size. Again, only 500 of these are made. Um, but guess what? We are going to shoot them. In fact, we did for this video. I don't believe in safe queens. Well, I, I take that back. I do believe in them. I don't have any because if I own it, I want to shoot it. These guns are going to be showing up in uh, the great affordable 1911 comparison test. It's going to start here in a few weeks. The 45 will be in uh, video number two of that series. I'm going to put it head to head with a uh, Smith & Wesson E-Series and the Commander will be in uh, probably video number 12 or 13 of that series going head to head most likely with a uh, with a Kimber Pro Series. So how do these guns shoot? Well, actually fairly nice. I will add though that the 45 shoots just a little bit to the left although that can be corrected by the drift adjustable rear sight and the 9mm shoots about 4 inches high at 50 feet not a whole lot I can do with that, uh, heavier ammo might bring that down just a hair Also affordable. In fact, I, they aren't that much more expensive than their standard counterparts from Ruger. We'll get into prices here in just a little bit. Um, I'm not going to get into all the details on these. That's what uh, is going to show up in the great uh, affordable 1911 series. Um, do want to say these are nicely finished guns. I'm not too much into uh, to glitz and bling, but you can see on this particular uh, gun, the uh, the steel 45 here, that slide is shiny. Of course, it's got the Ruger logo on the uh, on the slide. This one's got the Ruger. Uh, logo also on the grips on both sides. Uh, it's a shiny, shiny gun and it does have a fingerprint on it. Oh my gosh, can't have fingerprints. Um, but it's also a shooter. This is even a little more glitz. This one's nice in that it has aluminum grips on it uh, in contrast to the wooden, nicely uh, figured wooden grips on the other one. A shiny slide, a gray frame, uh, and really nicely uh, Put together all the way around as far as looks go again the the ruger logo on both the grips and the uh and the frame interesting thing about this one it has chevrons on both the grip and the uh the cocking serrations on the slide to uh complement each other and uh and this gun works and i will tell you that this particular gun has a phenomenal trigger that little nine millimeter does nice thing about uh, this one at least what i like about it is it came with some swag of course it has the um the Ruger, the information on the Ruger uh, Navy SEAL Foundation and uh, one of 500 uh, came with the uh, uh, the decal and even a, uh, a Phillips screwdriver, I don't know what I'm going to use it for. I don't uh, see anything on here that is going to be a Phillips uh, head screw on it. It also came with a, a uh, very nice little uh, CRKT knife with the Ruger logo on both the blade and the handle. All of these were packaged in with it. So how do these stack up against a stock Ruger? Well, let's bring another one into the picture. This is a Ruger 45 Commander steel frame that I picked up a while back. And you know there's a lot of similarities between these guns. The three dot sights are the same on uh, all three of these guns. The hammer's the same shape, the trigger's the same shape, the Grip safety is the same. 
Uh, the checkering on the back strap between all three guns is the same and on all of them it's got a smooth front strap. There's uh, no serrations, no, uh, no checkering, nothing on the front. Uh, so really these, these guns are, are all the same um, with the exception of some of the glitz added for the Naval uh, Navy SEAL Foundation uh, trim and glitz on the guns. Um, they do shoot. They, uh, they both will hit the steel at 50 yards when I do my part. Uh, but again, they're going to more, have more updates at the, uh, the great affordable 1911 shoot-off. Uh, watch for that. Subscribe and get notified when, they, when those videos come out. And we'll give you more details on the gun, when, on the, both of these guns, and when, they, when they do come out. So what about price? On the Ruger website, the full-size 45 uh, list of manufacturer suggest to retail for nine thirty nine. That comes in stainless. Uh, you can find these on the street for a little over seven hundred dollars. Um, the the commander in two tone list for nine seventy nine, and uh, you can find these for about seven hundred and fifty plus. Uh, I did find one uh, Navy Special Warfare commander on uh, Gunbroker for a thousand fifty plus shipping. I haven't found any of the Navy Seal Foundations, and I haven't found any. Well, I, d I did find the one with the uh, the swag there for the. Uh, the sub 50 or excuse me the thousand fifty uh, but trying to find the actual uh, naval special warfare or navy seal foundation uh, the limited edition uh, in the 500 range uh, 500 serial number range is saying uh, they're pretty few and far between right now so they're going to cost a little more than a uh, than an off-the-shelf commander or ruger uh, full size but um, yeah, maybe a little more uh, not uh, not a huge amount if you have any comments on this, any suggestions on other videos you want to see, uh, any comments at all on uh, the Ruger SR 1911s, whether they're the special editions or regular editions, or anything else on 1911s, or any other gun for that matter, uh, or any other accessories and equipment for primarily for handguns, but we'll also be looking at rifles and shotguns, anything at all, put that in the comments section or visit ridersrange.com and uh, leave a comment or an email there. Again, thank you for visiting Riders Range.